Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales on another beautiful Kentucky afternoon. They are calling for severe storms here later this evening, so I got to make this one quick. I'm going to start out by saying something, and I don't say this very often. Like, to get in this rank or to get in this, um, what I'm about to say means a lot. This is a 2008 model Hallmark motorhome. Hallmark built an amazing product. In fact, if they were still building them today, I would become a dealer and I would order 10 of them tomorrow. Very, very, very well constructed product. From the outside, the exterior, the roof, the interior, just uh, it was a good product. But I'm going to say something and I mean it. This coach ranks in the top, I almost said five, I'm going to say top ten of the nicest, cleanest rigs we've ever had traded in here. And what I mean by that is, like, some of these, I mean, when we get them, that's what we do. We clean them up, we fix stuff that's wrong, and, you know, we resell them. This one... It literally pulled in like it was ready for a showroom. And it's an 08 model, okay? But it just all goes back to how it was taken care of, stored inside, the paint's in good condition. The Look at the fuel tanks on the thing. I mean, it looks like a mirror. Super, super nice. So, 2008 model Freightliner Coronado with a Hallmark conversion. Detroit 60 has the 515 horsepower Detroit 60, the 14-liter motor under the hood, 112,000 miles, three slot outs. I like a big hood truck. Look at the hood on that. Look at the grill on that thing. The Coronado is a front end and a look that I'll never get tired of. Kind of falls in that same category as that Peterbilt 389, 379, in my opinion. Again, that's just my take on it. Um, no emissions. There's no def fluid on this thing. Full body paint. It's kind of like a, a brown with a little bit of metallic in the brown from what I can remember. And then tan. Um, twin 70-gallon fuel tank. So 140 gallons of fuel on board. Again, look at that. I told you one other time, chrome won't get you home. But man, it looks good going down the road. Um, drop visor with the hidden lights, as you can see up there above the windshield, has the hidden, built-in hidden lights. Looks awesome at nighttime. Michelin tires, 315 steer rubber. Michelin tires in great condition. Again, three slides. Even has the little uh, window awnings. See that one? 12 5 own end generator with um, 2,000 hours, which for an 08 is low, the reason is it's been replaced. So that is a newer generator than what the coach is. I'm assuming it was sold new by our friends up at El Dorado Trailer Sales. 40,000 pound hitch, uh, water spigot, low point drain, glad head fittings. Uh, it has the 50 amp outlet, so if you wanna run like a, you know, another coach or your trailer off the generator, you can. Uh, the hitch is currently set up with a 2 and 5 16 ball, but keep in mind, I've got the 2-inch receiver, 3-inch receiver, pinnel hitch. And if you're watching this video and you just need to buy a receiver, I'm your man. Got them in stock. We ship UPS daily. Um, actually, overnighted one to a guy one time. That was expensive, but hey, he needed it next day. I forgot to pull that one out. So there's also a big picture window in the master bedroom with a shade, backup camera, uh, roof access ladder. That's something you don't see all the time. And um, that's, that's a nice feature. So lots of storage compartments. Uh, this one also, it's not called Aqua Hot. I can't remember the name, but it's similar to Aqua Hot. I believe it's a propane fired system, but it uh, uses the boiler antifreeze for heat and, uh, and hot water. We'll give you one more look at that tank. Ooh wee, man. All right, 08 model, 112,000 miles. And priced at about 30 cents on a dollar of what it would cost new. So 
I know some of you guys, you want uh, 2020, 21, 22, 23, or even a brand new 24. But if you are looking for a whole lot of bang for the buck, call me on this one. Okay, it, like I said, it's priced about 30 cents on a dollar of what an equivalent triple slide coach like this would run brand new. So I'm gonna open up the storage bays. We'll go through them. And I didn't run the awning out. It does have the big patio awning, you can see. A little windy. I don't, they have wind sensors. I just sometimes don't trust them. And so, you know, um, I always use the rule of thumb when it's, um, when in doubt, don't run the awning out, right? All right, so let me open up these storage bays. We'll take a spin through those. I'm even gonna pop the hood, raise that hood up. I'm gonna show you how clean it is under the hood as well. So stand by, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not already a subscriber, we would love to have you as part of our YouTube channel and I'll obviously love to sell you a coach one day. But if you're already a subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for coming on board and uh, being a part of what we got going on here. So stand by just a moment and I'm gonna pause, open the storage bays and we'll zip through those. Be right back. All right, back with you. We'll start over here. I just want to show you how clean this thing is. And it's got a set of horns that'll break glass. Over here to the other side. Recently serviced in that Detroit 60. Probably one of the best engines that Detroit ever made. 14 liter. I think the stock advertised horsepower is 515, and that's just, that's not inflated. That's 515, the real deal. Um, inside the cab, it's beeping because I got the headlights on, but you do have a cab disconnect. Love the 12 volt disconnect to, you know, protect the cab from running down. If you had something drawing on it, electric brake controller. Again, 100. 112,242. Uh, as your average truck driver would tell you, that ain't even broke in, son. Differential lock, got the air dump valve, backup camera, CB radio. I like the interior on the Coronado too. Uh, the colors they use, everything's very nice. Air ride driver and passenger seat. Show you this side. Carpets, that's the original carpet in this thing. I could tell the moment the coach got here and talking to the previous owner, he was OCD. I don't meet many people that are worse than I am. He was borderline as far as just stuff's gotta be perfect and nice and clean and there's nothing wrong with that. There's something to be said for taking pride in what you have and keeping it nice. Now, um, this is a grill, which could also be removed and turned into just a storage compartment. Or you could uh, get a little grill that folds up. You got a hose that hooks to a quick connect right there. See the little ball valve? So don't get excited. You're not going to cook the whole campground or the whole race team cheeseburgers at one time. But at about midnight, if you're leaving that racetrack or you're at the campground and you get hungry for a filet, you can put one for you and mama and maybe a friend or two on there. But don't get too excited. Again, it's not huge, but it, it'll get the job done. Uh, storage compartment here for the second bay back. Little outdoor TV, a, a little outdated, but again, that's a simple update. You know, I was in Sam's Club. You probably, you guys probably have a Sam's Club close, right? You can, the other day, we had a customer. We were switching out a TV here locally in one. I bought a 40-inch smart TV for 200 no excuse me no for a hundred and like fifty dollars how is that? that that fundamentally doesn't even make sense does it but anyways old school sony tv again easily change it out it works i mean it people watch tvs on those for years and never complained about it so it works it's got a few speakers got a little outdoor stereo system with it very clean very neat but again could be updated very easily uh, Dometic Outdoor Cooler. Now, this cooler is going to be newer. Uh, this is one of the newer version Dometics. 
So a lot of room. You can set the temp there on the side of it. And this is what I was talking about. This is called precision temp. So this is a propane fired system, but it is a hydronic um, heating system. So very nice, better than your old, you know, standard 10 gallon water heater for sure. 12.5 uh, Onan generator with 2,079 hours on it to be exact. I've got him running right now with the roof airs on and it works. Uh, it's keeping it cool inside. Uh, big storage compartment with your um, your inverter. I think it's a 2,000 watt Magnum Energy inverter and then your shore power cord. Uh, gray and black tank is here. I'm thinking 60, 70 gallons a piece. And also, uh, Hallmark was putting bigger tanks under the bed. I'm pretty sure it's 200 gallons of fresh water under the bed. All right. Uh, some storage, your um, house batteries, 12 volt batteries, they're fairly new. I think it's like a 50 gallon propane tank. So big tank there. And then the last one is um, your engine batteries. So those are the ones that are gonna fire this Detroit 60 up when you call for it. Um, oh, it's got automatic leveling, in motion satellite. I'm trying to think if there's anything else on the outside. Uh, we talked about the awning that we're not gonna run it out just cause it's a little windy, but the awning is nice condition and works well. It's probably 20 foot long, I would say, patio awning. So it would go down past the cooler. Of course, cover the TV and the, the grill all the way to the grill there as well. So that's the outside. Again, it's an 08 model Freightliner Coronado with the Hallmark conversion. And the inside of the coach is just as impressive as the exterior. So I'm not even gonna pause. I'm just gonna kick my shoes off. We try to, I try to tell the guys, hey, if we just clean one, don't walk in there with your shoes on. Like, respect the guy that just mopped the floor, right? All right, so we are inside. It sleeps six people. So you've got, this is a uh, sofa that turns into a hide -a bed So let me turn those lights off. That thing beeping. It's getting on my nerves. I know it's gotta be getting on yours. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, so sofa here turns into a queen size bed. It's got like a little memory foam mattress with it. Up above, you've got the, the entertainment system with, um, I think it's Sony brand and speakers, you know, we're through the, the ceiling. Zoom out there, there we go. Um, the TV is overhead. Now this slides, so going down the road, you move it over and it's like a walk-in cab. See that? I mean, you don't have to duck down other than to get under to sit in the seat, but you can walk into the middle of the cab without ducking. Lots of storage up here above the cab. Turn the light on, check that out. And that goes all the way, you know, there's one in the middle and then some over there on the, the passenger side. Now, over here on the driver's side, the sofa electronically turns into a bed. So there's a couple of switches up under here. There's like an in, out, and a tilt. And if you'll go to chasecoach.com, we've got photos of it, but that turns into a bed. And then it's shaped like a, kind of like a J-shaped a J lounger uh, in the upright position. Then you have a dinette that seats four people. This could be turned into one of those that turns into a bed. However, we would have to go with a different countertop because if you cut this, you're going to have a raw edge and it's a little too wide to, you know, to go down between those. So we could modify it. We would just have to put a standard like wood table, you know, or, um, or a piece of um, quartz or something like that, but it wouldn't match this one exactly. So right now, you know, the kitchen countertop matches that one, but if you needed that extra sleeping space, don't rule it out. We do some cool stuff here and, and can do that. Four-door fridge. Um, we do offer an upgrade where we put, we take out the RV fridge, which is what this is. Now, this is one of the nicer ones. This is two doors on the bottom and then two doors. That's the, the fridge and then two freezer doors on the top. But we do upgrade these all the time to the Samsung model that has the French door with the pull-out freezer. So keep that in mind as well. We've done a few of the hallmarks. Keep the fridges in stock and we're capable of doing that. Um, decent sized sink, nice and clean. Also have covers for a three burner electric cooktop and I've got the covers that um, under the sink here. So there's covers that go over this and covers that go over this. This coach is equipped with central vac. You'll see the little yellow uh, dirt devil thing down here. So you just raise up this flap here. There it goes. Um, that thing really sucks. Haha, uh -huh. yeah. Sorry. 
if you if you got it you got it all right so convection microwave oven it looks like it's fairly new too because it's clean number one number two it looks like a mirror in the back and number three the instructions are there so convection microwave oven a uh, little light here and then a fan uh, you got your the water heater also has an electric side turn it on you got uh, heated tanks and then how to check your tanks water pump so on and so forth uh, it is a mid bath so walking into the bathroom you walk in you got your sink vanity lots of cabinets and the grade of the cabinetry back in this air it was just heavier these coaches were just built heavier they were not saying the new stuff's bad i love the new product but the old stuff was just built a little heavier one piece fiberglass shower kind of got the little seat there you can sit on overhead skylight now the toilet is in its own little room tecma electric flush toilet with its own sink there overhead cabinet and fan very neat uh it does have the all-in-one washer and dryer which is here Dang. um so all-in-one some storage oh that's where the washer and dryer connects for the fittings now master bedroom has two slides queen size bed we can install a king size bed but we have to take out the little stands there or raise them up one time we put a king in and we just raised these up we done that to a hallmark a, a few years back so two slides on this side you have a wardrobe area with the tv um, cedar lined closets here's how good this guy was that, that traded this he's got instructions on how to like pick up the digital channels Get another cedar line closet, uh, nice drawers, big picture window. And this actually has a shade, obviously. So uh, you've got, you know, that for the, um, what they call the day shade. And then there's this one for the, the night shade. Uh, queen size bed, brand new bedding, a very comfortable bed, by the way. Some overhead cabinets up above. I like this. You rarely see that. I mean, just to set your some stuff on or whatever. I think that covers most of it. Um, again, these are rare to find uh, in this good a shape that looks this good. Um, you know, pretty low miles on it, good Michelin tires. So we've got some financing options. Uh, we do accept trade-ins and um, deliver nationwide. Hit the subscribe button. If you didn't catch that earlier, we would love to have you as a subscriber. Um, trying to think of things I missed. This is a drawer. I did not take pictures of that a while ago. That's cool. Big storage there. And then there's another one here. So I will pull those out and grab some photos of those. And I think that's all. So if you have any questions, give me a shout. And uh, you can shoot me an email at dylan, D-Y-L-A-N, at chasecoach.com. Or you can go to chasecoach.com to view all the photos. Probably a solid 200 to 250 photos inside out up down and sideways of this thing and uh, we would love to sell it to you so if you're the buyer call me let's make a deal 270-556-8461 dylan thompson chase motorsports coach and trailer sales in paducah kentucky have a great day